In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about carrying your load, having intestinal fortitude, picking up that rucksack that belongs to you. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, today, man, I want to just educate you, give you a glimpse uh, through a lens that you may not have ever looked through or been able to see through. And you can relate to this if you're somebody uh, that constantly carries your load and that load being okay man these are the choices that i made in life this is the environment that i've shaped for myself and you know it's my duty it's my obligation it's my responsibility you're going to be able to relate to those man as a drill sergeant i'll tell you man not everybody graduates basic training basic combat training man it is nine weeks of transformation, testing your uh, intestinal fortitude. Man, you do not want somebody uh, that's soft as jelly that lacks intestinal fortitude to be on your team. You don't want it. Because when the pressure comes, they're gonna fold every time. When the pain comes, they're gonna fold every time and they will be selfish rather than selfless, okay? Man, I want you to think about half the length of a football field being 50 yards. Full length is 100 yards. Man, there is an event early on in basic training where you're doing what they call a ruck mark. And nowadays, that event is no longer a rucksack. It's the equivalent to like a, a, a backpack that a kid would take to school. That's the equivalent of it, what it is now. And in doing that, you're having uh, these young soldiers put in their essential items, okay? Maybe a little bit of suntan lotion, maybe uh, one or two sets of socks, in the event that when we get where we're going, uh, you're gonna need to change your, let your feet air out, change your socks, okay? Underwear, a t-shirt, um, basic essentials. On that first ruck march, they're not carrying nothing heavy at all. At most, at most, you might get them carrying 15 pounds. You gotta think, man, if you were in my generation where school was not on a laptop, you had books, multiple books. That distance I gave you of 50 yards being half of a football field and seeing the complaining, the lack of intestinal fortitude is generally what it took, 50 yards, 50 yards. That intestinal fortitude that's required uh, to carry your load as a man or a woman or in life or as a soldier is basically knowing that uh, this journey is gonna have pain associated with it. And it's your ability to be able to endure that pain. Within 50 yards, I'm gonna tell you this, if we're walking a mile with these light backpacks, within 50 yards out of a group of 50, you're already gonna have uh, probably 10% of the people complaining. And that complaining is to draw sympathy. And it always starts off with, okay, soldiers carrying a weapon. Weapon has a certain amount of weight to it. But it's your weapon that can help protect your life and the life of others, depending on how you use it. The first thing that 
uh, these soldiers that lack intestinal fortitude try to do is pawn off their weapon. Hey, battle buddy, man, you mind holding my weapon for a second? And here you have somebody carrying their own load, you know, not asking for no help. Say, yeah, I got you. Not realizing that this person is willing to let you walk the whole length, the whole mile while carrying their weapon so they don't have to feel the pain in their arms of having their weapon. Okay, first goes the weapon. Next goes that backpack that may be 15 pounds at most. That person will say, hey man, they'll find somebody else. Hey, let me, let me damn, uh, can, can you hold this backpack, man? I need a moment to just uh, to shake it off. My shoulders is hurting. Here you go. We are half mile in. This person got somebody else carrying their weapon, got another person carrying their rucksack. By three quarters of a mile, the person that's got everybody else carrying their load uh, is ready to hop in a van because they don't have intestinal fortitude. While everybody else is going the distance of carrying their load and helping carry the, the, the load of others that lack intestinal fortitude. And let me tell you what people don't tell you. And this is reason, this is the reason why I like to give uh, on, other honors, give others their flowers uh, well before uh, I doggone get any recognition. You know, I'd rather uh, give others their just due because oftentimes, man, you have to admit that people have helped you along the way. You know, there's nothing wrong with needing help, okay? But sometimes people want you to help and draw your sympathy so you can carry their load full time. You gotta think about, uh, as a man, man, I have biblical roles and responsibilities as a man, as a husband, as a father. A woman has biblical roles and responsibility. No man or woman wants to carry the load of another person while they sit back uh, and, and, and live this peaceful life while somebody's already got their own load and responsibilities. You know, pick up your rucksack, carry your load. Nobody wants to, you gotta understand, man, dirty people typically get people that are, are clean freaks to clean up behind them. You don't even gotta be a clean freak. Every dirty person uh, has been enabled to doggone be dirty because there's somebody coming to clean up behind them. And at some point, as a drill sergeant, man, I used to have to say, van, tell the drill sergeant that's driving the van. No, they don't need to get in the van. You need to give them their rucksack back Tell the, tell the others, so give them their weapon back. Give them their rucksack. Because if they cannot carry this load for one mile, hey, they getting recycled. You're gonna start over. Why? You lack intestinal fortitude. You want, you want to look good uh, at individual tasks, but when it comes to team tasks, collective tasks, now you now, now all of a sudden you don't you don't you don't have it. Some people can't even perform individual tasks without help as men and women. I'm letting you look through the lens of doing this at a large capacity. I see these things. Man, intestinal fortitude, if you don't have it, is a painful process because you got to rebuke uh, the feelings of your flesh to endure the journey that you set out on. You know, when you think about a ruck march, man, that's gonna be uh, some lower back pain, uh, some pain in your shoulders as them straps eat away when you're carrying a heavy load. Sometimes 80 and 90 pounds, depending on uh, what you got. That could be a radio that's 20 pounds. On top of your underwear, your drawers, your socks, your uh, suntan, all of this stuff. They say, hey, 
you the one that's gonna carry this radio. You know how people break down with that radio? Carrying their load, they barely can make it with their own load. And then you add a radio that will help the team communicate, help us communicate to higher headquarters, everybody can't do it. it. Takes intestinal fortitude. And it's that same thing in life. Man, you have to, you have to be able to look at, man, why am I carrying? At some point, those with intestinal fortitude realize they're carrying a load that's not theirs. It's not theirs. And you have to uh, hand that back over to the people that it rightfully belongs to so you can finish the course, finish the journey. Because if not, the pain of carrying uh, a load of somebody that lacks intestinal fortitude long term is going to break you. Pick up your rucksack, carry your load. Closer to Yacht Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.